how do you deal with letting go during the second act of your life? Admittedly, letting go has always been a challenge for me. I found that the many cards, letters, and symbols that I connected with throughout my life were very important to me. And I had a great deal of trouble letting go. The most challenging and confronting loss for me was the death of my husband at age 68 from prostate cancer. Law, long and successful marriage for 43 years, our beautiful family, and both of us had fulfilling careers. When he died, I threw myself into my own career, which was a great gift for me at the time. But eventually, grief caught up with me, and I realized that I had lost my life as I'd always known it. For me, my life was over. I was finished. The grief that I'd so carefully avoided actually followed me and had its way with me, and grief tends to do that. One day, as I was recounting my sadness and loss to a monk friend of mine, he just stopped and he said, are you going to live or are you going to die? That was probably the most confronting question that I've ever experienced. Was I going to choose to live or to let myself die? It really stopped me dead in my tracks. The next thing he did was ask me to sit and write a list of things I wanted to do. Well, I couldn't think of a thing and I didn't care, but he patiently waited and encouraged me until I began a list that went something like, organize all the pictures of my family for throughout our family life, um, get the house cleaned up. And then there were some fun things like take a trip or maybe, you know, have people over for dinner. So he stopped me after he gave me several minutes to write this list. And he, I started reading to him. He wanted to hear the different points that, that I'd written down. And as I went through things like, organizing the family pictures, he said, you know what? That's something you should do, strike it off the list. And when there were things like go on a vacation, he said, that's probably something you want to do. So keep it on the list. And what I realized from this simple exercise was that there were a few things I might wanna do in life, although it still wasn't totally a profound change right away. But as I was, addressing this list over the next few months, I realized that I just needed to get moving again and that hanging on made me miserable in life. So what I wanted to do was choose life. And that choice, it didn't just happen and grief doesn't go away, it just changes. But that change helped me open up to life slowly to let other people in one step at a time and I began to see the beauty of the world. Much to my own surprise, I remarried and now appreciate the newness of life all over again, finding joy in every moment and in every new day and all the surprises and joy it brings. <laughs>